Bill Rockus for five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. Thanks for calling this hearing. Uh, the administration shut down of the Yucca Mountain uh, program in, in 2010. Uh, again, they shut it down. The ramifications of that shutdown are still reverberating. And the decision last year remanding the NRC's uh, waste confidence rule, the D.C. court observed, and I quote, at this time there is not even a prospective site for a repository, let alone programs uh, progress toward the actual construction of one. The lack of progress on uh, a permanent repository has caused considerable uncertainty regarding the environmental effects of temporary spent nuclear fuel storage and the reasonableness of continuing to license and relicense nuclear reactors. So the administration's actions to shut down the Yucca Mountain program have caused a federal court order to question the reasonableness of licensing uh, nuclear plants. Dr. Lyons, if the administration really supported nuclear energy, wasn't it, uh, it to reconstitute the Yucca Mountain program? Uh, shouldn't they reconstitute the Yucca Mountain program, uh, Dr. Lyons? Uh, isn't it a demonstration that the federal government's will to follow the law the surest way to restore the waste confidence and provide a solid basis for the NRC to license? Uh, if you can answer that question. Thank you, for your <clears throat> thank you for your question. I noted in my testimony that we are already, as a nation, 20 years past the, license, the anticipated opening of Yucca Mountain. We are at an impasse. The administration's approach is to try to work towards a workable solution that can move us past the impasse and, yes, support nuclear power by providing a consent-based approach to move ahead on this vital issue of the back end of the fuel cycle. Would you like to comment as well? Oh, would I? Sorry. Yes, please. <laughs> I didn't hear you. No, not at this time. Would the gentleman yield? Yes. The, the real question is, because of the delay and the stopping of Yucca Mountain, the waste confidence rule for interim storage has been attacked and is causing problems in local uh, local storage areas because we don't have a location. So now the waste confidence rule is, is up for litigation or review, which continues to cause additional problems. Isn't that correct? No, the, they have nothing to do with each other. Right? They do have by the, by the ruling and, and, and the statements Ms. Bill Rockus just stated. The waste confidence rule was predicated on a long-term geological storage. Mm -hmm. When you walk away from a long-term geological storage, you upset the whole waste confidence rule. So it's imp I find it incredulous that you say they have nothing to do with each other. Well, I say that simply because the court that ruled on the waste confidence decision required us to consider the case where there is no repository. And, and there is no repository because the administration has broken the law to not proceed. I can't comment on that. But I can, and Mr. Lyons can. Is that why? As we've testified repeatedly, sir, our general counsel supported, endorsed our ability to withdraw the license. That can, that so, you're gen so you're blaming your general counsel for making a ruling that you could break the law that upset the Apple Court on the waste confidence rule? And our focus is on finding a workable solution that can move this country forward. And I, I would apologize if I take my colleague's time. Where is the only vote from the legislative body on the floor of either chamber that talks about a bipart bipartisan movement, Mr. Lyons? Again, sir, we are trying to. You, find you, a you talk bipartisanship four to one by this chamber in the House three consecutive years in a row in supporting Yucca Mountain. So that's where the bipartisan agreement is, and it's about time that the administration started following. I yield back to Mr. Bill Rockus. One last question uh, for Dr. Lyons. Do you believe that the science done by our labs, our national labs, in support of Yucca Mountain license application is sound? Yes. 